What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're back alongside the next major beat of Destiny's Summer Season, as of course, Solstice of Heroes is back in the game. So today with the weekly reset, we'll touch on the basics and how to get started in the event. We'll also look at some of the new rewards and of course, the European Aerial Zone. So we'll get prepped up on what you need to know there. But in addition to the event stuff, of course, we have the rest of the weekly reset, all of the rewards, the weekly quest and interference mission, and then our activities, vendors, and things worth knowing for this week in D2. So guys, as always, I hope you do find this video useful. And if you do, a rating down below really does help me out. Also get subscribed so I can keep you posted on Destiny content over the next few months moving forward, but otherwise, let's get into it. Now, Solstice of Heroes is back for 2020, and the tower is decorated accordingly with the Statue of Heroes here in the courtyard. Naturally, the Solstice armor and the European Aerial Zone, as well as a few powerful or cosmetic rewards are kind of the main features of the event. But initially, to start out, there is a quest to kick off this year, so pick that up from Eva Levante, and I think we gotta head into the European Aerial Zone. Do a few things, and once that's completed, she'll give us another quest to unlock the armor for this year. Of course, the armor will have a bunch of objectives to upgrade through Renewed, Majestic, and then Magnificent. And there are universal ornament versions which you can get from the store if you do the full upgrades, and we'll touch on those in a moment. But if you need any tips or early pointers for unlocking the armor this year, I'll link a video down below, and I'll also be sure to keep you posted here on the channel. Otherwise, we are able to unlock Solstice packages via the chests in the Aerial Zone, and these help us earn powerful gear, as well as some progress on certain armor objectives, and this is done by using key fragments to unlock the packages. Of course, it's worth mentioning that once that initial quest is completed, we'll be able to unlock Solstice Banties and acquire the kind of Solstice Fragments, open packages, and all of that kind of stuff. But otherwise, like last year, the European Aerial Zone can be accessed immediately from the tower right here, and we can see that we're currently on Solar Day, so it'll always be displayed here, but also on the tower map right here at the top. Otherwise, of course, there is the Eververse element to the event as well. So we do have some new items showing up for silver right here on the kind of main uh, front page. But also we've got the bright dust stuff, mainly with uh, older bits, I believe, right here. But we've got the vintage timber shader, as well as the beach ball projection, and then the boy shell and the micro mini sparrow. So an opportunity to grab any of these for bright dust on the front page. And then for the main page right here, we've got the Legacy 2 Sparrow, as well as the paperwork emote. Uh, the s'mores emote as well, and then the hip bump multiplayer emote, the tangled paladin weapon ornament for the black talent sword, which is a pretty cool one, as well as the war beast skin for the legend of Acrius. And then we've got the triumphant projection, uh, the war set arrival, shocking entrance transmat effect, as well as the beach ball effects. And then we have the golden age wine shader, as well as welded brass, bruised brush, and oiled algae. So uh, this is the kind of featured inventory for this week, but of course we do have a few weeks of the event with different stuff to roll out in the inventory. Outside of Solstice though, of course we're going to have the Season of Arrivals content for this week, and that does mean a new means to an end quest with the Interference mission. So as always, I'll keep you posted if anything particularly interesting happens inside of that mission this week. Jumping into Contact this week, we'll be heading over to the rig on Titan. Of course, Titan's going to be the featured location. And for the weekly bounties this week, we need to earn points by defeating combatants and guardians anywhere in the system. And uh, additionally, we've got Send It to earn points by defeating combatants and guardians with scout and sniper rifles. And then there is the Pinnacle Drop associated with the weekly quest, as well as the reset on the Prophecy Dungeon and the Pinnacle Drops there. All of our playlist pinnacles have reset as well, but otherwise, pretty much most of them are going to come from the moon. So we've got the Pit of Heresy, and uh, this week with the Garden of Salvation, the challenge mode is going to be the Leftovers challenge. But then for Nightmare Hunts, we have Insanity, as well as Anguish and Pride. We can see that Strange Terrain is going to be the Nightfall ordeal strike for this week, so have fun if you're jumping into that one. But for traditional Nightfalls, we do have a Garden World. This can drop the Universal Wave Function ship. We've also got Tree of Probabilities, though, where you can get the DFA Hand Cannon, and finally the Corrupted, where you can pick up the Horrors Least Pulse Rifle. Momentum Control and Countdown will be the featured Crucible playlists this week, and of course Trials will return at the Daily Reset on Friday. But if you're jumping into Leviathan Prestige Raid Lairs this week, we've got Arsenal, as well as Arms Master, requiring anything in the Kinetic slot, a Fusion Rifle in the Energy slot, as well as a Fusion Rifle in the Power slot. Additionally, we can see that this week in the Menagerie we've got Solar Singe, Grounded, and Brawler, as well as Extinguish, Match Game, Attrition, and Arc Singe featured for the Heroic mode. When it comes to the Reckoning this week, the drops are going to come from Mini Oryx, so Spare Rations, Bug Out Bag, 
Outlast, Norin Hunger, and Doomsday are the featured weapon drops for this week. But then if we move to the Escalation Protocol, Naxxud the Famine is going to be the boss, and so all three of the weapons randomly drop when you take that boss down. And you can also collect 2.0 armor there as well. But then we have the Dreaming City. And this week's Ascendant Challenge, if you are completing them, is going to be the Sumerian Garrison, which is accessed via the Chamber of Starlight in Rear Sylvia. So if you want gameplay of the location, Corrupted eggs and collectibles throughout that Ascendant Challenge. It will run at the end of the video. But otherwise, for today, guys, that is everything that we have to talk about right here. So, as always, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, a rating down below very much helps me out. But also get subscribed to the channel, and I'll keep you posted on Beyond Light. All of the news and info we're going to get for the Fall expansion, as well as the remaining stuff that we get this summer. But otherwise, for today, I appreciate you tuning in, guys. And whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome week.